Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. As cryptocurrency is continuing to boom and many more miners are flocking to the scene, all associated hardware is skyrocketing in price. Whereas you used to be able to nab a cheapo mining frame for about $30 US and a good quality frame for $80 to $100, those days are long gone. Expect to pay at least triple the price for that same exact rig frame today. Today we're going to discuss some cheaper alternatives as well as demonstrate some of my personal mining frame builds. But first, let's spin that intro. All right, you're looking to build a new mining rig. You need a frame. What are your options to get yourself a good frame and get yourself mining? Number one, you can pay up. You can pay the extraordinary high market value that of cost of a frame right now. Number two, you could get a wire rack or maybe even a shoe rack style. And these are cheap and efficient. And I'll jump over and show you a couple of these here in a few minutes. Or you could build your own. You could build it out of wood. You could build it out of aluminum. You could build it out of PVC. Whatever you have to do to get these things up and mining cheaply and efficiently, that's what you got to do. Um, let's look at some of our pay up options real quick and see what the current market value for these things are. So what I did is I jumped over to eBay and I searched mining rig frame. I checked the US and I put sold items. These are the going rates for sold mining rig frames in the United States right now. Here's a refurbished one. It looks like it's bent. It's used $125. Eh, not bad for the going rate. Then a Veta frame, $333 plus shipping. The frame sold for $350. That is a 3060 price. You're gonna pay for a frame what you would pay for a RTX 3060. Ouch. Another frame, 280 plus shipping, $320. $400 for a server case, $250 for a Veta, $250 for a Veta. 130 for this frame, 140 for this frame plus shipping, 250, 243, 250. Wow. So you're thinking, well, maybe somewhere else has them. Good luck finding them. Go over to Amazon. Let's check Amazon and see what they have. All right, here we are over on Amazon. You're thinking, okay, $60 for a really cheapo. It is a cheapo. I have this frame. It works. It's not bad. It does work. But here's the hook. $62. And how long is it going to take to get? These are all coming out of China. This is going to take three or four weeks for you to get. Every single one of these cheapo frames are all coming out of China. Let's just click a random one. Arrives March 8 to 29. And it's probably going to be closer to that 29 end. So if you've got four to six weeks to wait, pick one of these up there you go that's not a bad price let's look down some more that's a that's not what we looked at that da, da. China 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 all the same frame just a cheapo China 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 cheapo sponsored it's got to be something other right oh there's there's one that's let's see what it costs see all buying options a hundred and twenty dollars March 11 through 25th coming out of China. Ooh, this one comes with four fans for only $140. Let's see what it looks like. March 15th to April 8th. It's the same exact $60 frame, but with four cheap fans out of China. Hey, there's a Veta, $190. Let's see. March 9th through 18th. That's only going to take about a month to get. Ships within one to three weeks and overseas. It's terrible. <clears throat> so as you can see, buying is a terrible option right now for a mining rig frame. It's hard to find. They're way inflated, at least three to four times what they should be. And they're going to take forever to get them. So next option, which is actually a fairly viable option and a good cheap alternative, the wire rack slash shoe rack design. Let's check out Hash Raptors real quick and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. This was Hash Raptors 
big rack where he had 13 1660 Ti's hanging vertically from a standard Amazon type rack. He's got them hooked to with really nice carbiner clips with um, solid key rings and then he's running the wires down through so that they're actually keeping them from swaying back and forth. This is actually a solid cheap alternative that you might consider building your frame in if you don't want to go crazy expensive on one of these frames. Maybe you buy a $40 rack like this, wait until the prices go back down to normal on a mining frame, buy a good frame, migrate the stuff over, saved you money, got your rig going, that might be the best route to go. So the last and best option, in my opinion, it'll be cheaper, it'll be more solid, and it will be yours. It will be your creation. You'll have the stuff laid out how you want it. So we're gonna jump over and we're gonna look at some of my designs and some of my builds that I've done over the years. And hopefully this will help you to get creative and build your own mining rig frame. So you got all the parts you need, you got some new GPUs, you got some power supplies, you got risers, you got everything you need to build a new frame, but you don't have a frame. And you don't have $200 to drop on some cheapo rig frame, because that's what the market is right now. It's nutty, it's hard to find a rig frame for a decent price. So instead, let's show you some of my previous build out designs from back in 2017 when I was experiencing the same thing. I built a wood frame, I built another wood frame, I built an aluminum frame. You can build a frame with a shoe rack, you can build a frame with a wire rack. There's many possibilities. Do not pigeonhole yourself into paying $200 for some cheap Chinese piece of junk that you're only gonna be happy with until you can get something better. Instead, build cheap, and then if you need to later, upgrade. Let's look at a couple of these designs that I started out with. All right, first, let's start with this monstrosity and we'll talk about exactly what this was. Back in 2017, I had a Dell Precision desktop PC and it had a Xeon 6 core 12 thread CPU in it. I had it water cooled. I had a single RX 580 card in there and I wanted to get more mining accomplished. The first thing I did was I ran risers to the top of the PC tower, double sided tape, held a couple 560s on the top of the tower. Yeah, this worked just fine for just two additional RX 560s. They were powered by the PCIe slot. I didn't have to run extra cables, easy peasy. Then I started upgrading. I got myself about three or four RX 57580 cards and I had to figure out what I was gonna do with them because I couldn't find a mining rig frame for anything. So I came up with this. This is built out of wood, the base of it. This set directly on top of my tower. My tower was sitting right here. This sat on top of the tower. Underneath of here, set a server power supply. And then my GPUs would face right here. One, two, three, four GPUs. Initially, I built it out and then I realized my cards were getting too hot. So I got some nice cheap aluminum from Lowe's. This is closet shelving, cut it, put it on top. And then I had four uh, 120 millimeter fans blowing down on these cards. The cards would sit right here. It, it wasn't pretty. It had wires running all out of the side of the tower, but I had five RX 570 580 cards running on a single Dell workstation and it was making me cryptocurrency during the boom. Many of you are in that same boat. Get those cards mining, get what you can, make it work however you have to make it work. So then I acquired more graphics cards. I acquired three GTX 1050s. This was back in 2017. And then I had to put them in a home. So I made a custom wood frame, which I'm still using today. Painted silver, piece of plywood on the bottom. I framed it out and then I cut a hole for my IO. And I've got my power button mounted on the side. My solid state mounted right there on the side. I've got the front cross beam. Then on the back, I have the taller top cross beam coming across. And then what I did was I, I improvised and I found this piece of metal from Lowe's. It's a L-shaped 
and I hooked my fans. Let's turn it a little. So it's L-shaped, so I was able to hook the top. One, two, three, and then I hooked my fans directly into it. And of course I had to get RGB fans because RGB adds mega hashes. So that's what we did. We put a regular ATX power supply in there and then we buddied it up with a HP server 750. Then we graduated from the GTX 1050s. We went up to GTX 1060s. We went up to 1070s, 1070 Ti's. And then eventually we liquidated all those. Then we had this filled out with RX 56 and 5700s. And these are the only three left. These three are all RX 5700s. They're all mining at 56 mega hash on a very low wattage so we're keeping it in service but the gist of this is this is a wood frame it looks okay because it's been painted silver but there's nothing special to it it's a wood frame that i custom made just for a rig in 2017 it's still working fully functional to this day and yep that's good mega hash out of three little cards there on that mini rig this rig's going to get re-migrated over and then we're going to probably move it back out into the garage but for now i brought it up in here for just for highlight on this rig frame let's hop over into the real prize this is the prize this is the nice fully aluminum uh, custom made rig frame that I did back in 2017. This originally was built out with six RX 57580s. Then I got a B250 FinTech gigabyte board. And so I expanded this to eight. So initial design only went to right here and came straight up. And then after I upgraded my cards, I had to make it work again. So I bought more aluminum. I replaced this cut, this cut, and I elongated these beams across. And then I have this hangover design. This worked perfect for the small cabinet it was sitting on in my garage. So then this extra space just hung off the cabinet. This design worked perfect for my needs to get eight graphics cards up and running at 30 mega hash a piece back in 2017, 2018. There's no beating the solidity of this frame. This thing is a beast. So let's, uh, let's look at the specs of this thing because this is what I would advise building something like this minus the eight card part. If you were building an eight card, you would just bring this whole tray out. You wouldn't do this complicated part right here that I had to do. You would make it just literally a big box. If you were building it out for a six card rig, you would do it as a 20 inch across. And if you were building it out as an eight card rig, you would do it a 28 inch across. I'll include links to all of the materials needed for this. The screws that I used are half inch uh, metal screws. This frame was made out of all angled aluminum. And then the cross member is actually more like a U channel as is the GPU holder up here. It's actually called trim channel and I'll include it too. It's more of a U shape and the rest of the frame is just an L shape. I'll bring the camera closer and we'll get some specs on this. So let's take a close look at this thing. So the first thing that you will note is the very bottom. I have half inch garage tiles that is actually being used as a mod mat as well. They have these nice interlocking pieces where you would hook multiples together. And I laid it flat and I drew a line and I cut it with just a long razor blade and cut it to fit this perfect. This gives me a nice non-conductive surface on the bottom and it's nice and thick. It's a half inch so it brings it up to where your IO ports will fit perfectly up in there. So what is the cost to build this thing? I built this back then for around $50 US and now it's probably more around $70 worth. 
the uh, aluminum has went up slightly since that time okay so this frame looks very complicated but it doesn't have to be i built this out to be super solid super stable this thing is a tank so real quick again let's go through the numbers on this if you want to do a six card design you're going to do about a 20 inch across you're going to do a 14 inch depth you're going to go up uh, six inches for your cross beam support that your GPU will sit on back here. Then you want to go up to about 10 and a half inches for your top support. A good rule of thumb is to take your GPU, put a riser on it, measure the distance that you're going to go from the bottom to the top. And I think it's around four and a half inches to four and three quarter inches difference between where your card's going to be sitting and the cross beam it's going to be attaching to. Um, you want to make sure to not ground out any of your components. That's why I use the foam rubber mat and I'll put my standoffs directly into it or you can even use screws through your motherboard down into the foam rubber mat and it'll secure it just fine as long as you're not shaking it around and moving it. So the gist of the whole thing is please don't overspend and buy some junky rig frame just because you need to have a rig frame. Get out there, build your own. You'll have so much more pride in it. It'll last you years. You won't want to upgrade as soon as you can get one at an affordable price. This thing is a tank and I'll be rebuilding the rig in it soon. I think I'm going to put six RTX 3060 Ti's and 3070's. I'm going to split them up into here somehow. Maybe I'll do a three and three in here. I'm going to migrate everything over into this one and then I'm going to start rebuilding out my other 30 series rig. If you have questions on the exact specs of this, just hit me up in the Discord. Shoot me a message. Shoot me an email. I'd be happy to give you more in-depth design ideas and exact measurements i'll give you a full parts list and we'll jump over to it on the computer and i'll show you all the items and then that way you can easily pick up everything you need and then some to mimic this exact frame the numbers i'll give you probably run about 75 dollars worth of material but you're also going to have that's to build this exact frame with all of this extra aluminum you can cut out a whole piece of the aluminum you don't have to use the expensive mats on the bottom but these mats there's four of them in a package and as you can see i've got one on my desk i got one on this frame i got one on another frame i've got an extra piece that i build on elsewhere these things are amazing to have and will give you many different uses. All right, here's my full parts list to make my custom aluminum mining rig frame. So this is the three quarter inch by three quarter inch, eight foot long pieces of aluminum. I use three of them. You can get away with two if you do not use as much as I did around like the top framing part. And it's just your standard aluminum angle. There it is. Next. I used one and a half inch wide by four foot. That'll get you three solid slats across the bottom to make your base for your foam rubber to sit in. Then I used, this is the U-type channel. It's actually called trim channel. And I turned it like this, and this is what my GPU mounts onto. And also I ran it across and that's what my risers with cards set on. It's extra sturdy that way and it's more solid. For the screws, I just used these number eight, one and a half inch self-drilling screws. Nothing fancy right here. This is for a pound at $9 for a pound shipped. And here is a very good one to have. This is $18, but it's four giant 24 by 24 inch squares, and they are about half inch thick of foam rubber tile. So yeah, that's really it. There's only one, two, three, four, five total different items, and this is the complete part list. If you need any help getting this list together, just shoot me a message, shoot me an email, comment down below, and we'll help you out. Well, there you have it. If you can't buy it, build it. You do not have to pay breakneck prices to have a quality mining rig frame. If you have any unusual rig frame building ideas, comment down below and tell us all about it. People would love to hear it. 
If you're new to mining or you need some help, make sure to join the Hash Raptor Discord or the Misfit Mining Discord. There's plenty of seasoned vets in there, plenty of people willing to help get you up in mining and getting that cryptocurrency. If you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.